what did all of this cost us? So we're gonna, again, we're pretty much gonna double what's right here in size and space. So we're gonna have no trouble getting this and still making this fit in our first bucket with the items we've already gone through. Um, we ended up spending $33.14 on a pile of food double the size of this, which will turn into a pile of food double the size of this. Again, I'm gonna put up a picture right now. That's the entire uh, portfolio of food laid out. Ignore the uh, oatmeal and one package of uh, pasta. Those will be coming along later. But other than that, that was how much food there was. Um, $33.14, that means our running cost, including the stuff we did in phase one, we're at $47.99 in total cost of food stored. We went with this not to get a lot of food cheap, but to bring a lot of variety into the mix so that we're not eating bland lentils and bland beans and things like that. So we're going to keep working on our diversity and our variety. And let's face it, folks, all of this stuff... You don't have to put this in a bucket. We could put this in, a, in some jars on, the, on our pantry shelves, and we could cook with this stuff every day. It actually will speed up our cooking. And if you wanted some carrots to throw into a meal, that little bit right there, you could grab that little tiny bit off the end there, throw it in. So this is good for eat what you store, store what you eat as well. Um, when we look at the caloric intake, it's much lower because we're not going with high caloric value foods like uh, lentils and, and, and legumes and, and rice like we did before. So we only have 7,900 calories of food here. So our cost per calorie has definitely gone up. We've brought in an additional 1,620 carbohydrates, 268 grams of protein, and a little tiny bit of fat or 22 grams of fat. In the end, what we end up with, when we add this to the stuff that went in the bucket in phase one, 21,700 calories, uh, 4,636 grams of carbohydrates, 11,000 uh, grams of protein, roughly uh, 82 grams of fat, roughly. So our ratio has actually swung a little bit heavier to carbohydrates because there's not a lot of protein in the stuff that we have here, uh, but that's okay. Again, we're going to balance that out toward the end of the project but we're still very deficient in fat. Remember from uh, the phase two video, we're gonna be bringing in adjunctive products that are shorter term storage to compensate for that um, out of our, rot our rotational food. So that's not gonna be a problem either, but that's where we're at now. So let's say though, that you had to live off of this. That you, all of this stuff was in the bucket already. Uh, there'd probably be some space left for some more stuff, but you just you ended up having to run away with that bucket, and you didn't have the adjunctive products. You didn't have the stuff we had in phase two. You had to just get by with this. If you had to go on a survival situation with this food on a 2,000 calorie a day diet, what would this provide you with? Well, 21,000 calories. Roughly one person could survive for about 11 days on what we've done so far. Um, and two people could survive for five and a half days. Now, for short-term survival, you don't need to eat as much as you think you do. You'd lose some weight, but we could double that. We could say two people could subsist on this for 10 to 11 days and be, be kind of bland and boring and, and hungry, but you wouldn't be in any danger of severe malnutrition in that short duration of time. If we tried to live on a diet of just these things, long term we're going to become somewhat protein deficient and massively deficient in fat. So this is not a long term solution in and of itself. That's why we need the adjunctive product. But short term, we do now have, with a total investment of $47, enough for two people to subsist on for a period of, a, of almost two weeks. Again, not real happy, not real hard charging, not with a lot of energy, but at least you wouldn't go hungry. And if you had maybe another three or four days that a typical American household has in their, their pantry, you're, you're pushing three weeks now with just this little bit and a typical um, arrangement that most people already have in their homes. Is this ideal? Absolutely not. We'll get it ideal by the end. Stick with me. Keep giving me your comments and suggestions. I really like the proactive suggestions and comments and, and ideas of what to put in. Remember, check out Phase 2 if you haven't already for, an, for what we're doing with the canned goods and how we're keeping them separate and why. This has been Jack Spirico with another Survival Podcast YouTube video helping you figure out how to live that better life if times get tough or even if it helps.